Hello guys, my name is Key Fox, and welcome to Top 5 Furries that are in video games and movies. This will be brought to you by guys, by no one, because I am not sponsored by anyone, and it's just me. Okay, the whole point of this, um, of this series is just that I made you guys vote for your Top 5 Favorite Fairy Characters from both a video game and movies, and then here we go. Here are the Top 5 voted by the furry amino community number brought to you by um okay guys this character her name is kisan she's from she is part of a new game supposedly a new game by and antilia it is a fantasy game fantasy mmorpg currently development by right brain games the game is set in the world of Fora, which is inhabited by several species, including the anthropomorphic animal themed. Taipai, the dragon like Haskin, I don't know how to pronounce that, but Haskin Dragon. Let's just say it's a dragon, so. And steampunk inspired anthropomorphic rodents called Resu. Its modern in incarnation has been under development since 2007. We don't have too much information on what or who is Kisan origin and background because they didn't never provided any more um, background information about her. So yeah, we will never know what who is Kisan. Number four. Okay, in top four. Represent you guys, um, Horus. Horus is from the game Armello. Armello is a digital role-playing strategy board game being developed by an Australian independent game and studio league of geeks as their debut project. First announced as a, an iPad title, September 2012. The game has been in development since mid-2011 with music by composer Lisa Girard and Michael Allen. Between April and May 2014, a successful Kickstarter campaign was created to help fund port a port to the Steam, as well as stretch goals to bring the no game to Android and Windows tablets. The game was also chosen to receive additional support from governments, funding agencies Screen Australia and Film. So yeah. Okay guys, more Let's get into the Amelos I meant Horace's backstory. Horace is a playable hero and member of the Bandit Clan. He is one of the four Bandit characters first introduced to the Amarillo Kickstarter campaign and is available as a timed exclusive to those who play who pledge the requisite amount during that p period. At the time of tablet release, the Bandit Clan characters will be open to the public as a DLC in the spring of 2016. Number 3. Thomas O'Malley Okay guys, this was kind of a hard decision between Horace and Thomas O'Malley, considering both of the votes were a tie, so I had to choose myself. <coughs> it was a quite a hard vote to consider, like, both of them was my favorite, so... This was quite hard, so yeah, guys, so. Okay. The Aristocats is a. is a Lado animated film produced by Walt Disney Productions and released on December 24th, 1970. The 20th animated feature in the Disney animated canon, the film is based on a story by Tom McGowan and Tom Roy and revolves around a family of aristocratic cats and how an ally, ally cat acquaintances helps them after the butler Edgar catnaps them to gain his fortune, which was meant to go to them. The title is a pun on the word aristocrats. The film's b basic idea on, on uh, an animated romantic musical comedy about talking cats in France. And let's get into the more about Thomas O'Malley's backstory. 
Thomas O'Malley comes off as a smooth-talking, streetwise cat who relishes his life of freedom out in the open with no rules and no responsibilities. All of this change when he meets Duchess for the first time. He falls in love with Duchess when he first meets her, and he quickly starts flirting with and serenading her. Um, number two. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Humphrey. Uh, I do love the Alpha Omega days. I never really saw the rest of the series. I just only saw like the first one. So guys, so bear with me. Okay, Alpha Omega. Alpha Omega is an animated adventure and comedy film that is produced by Lionsgate Production and was released on 17th of September 2010. The film depicts from and non-anthropomorphic wolves and human characters throughout the film. Alpha Omega, Humphrey. Humphrey is the main protagonist of the Alpha and Omega franchise. He is, Kate is, he is Kate's husband, Winston's and Eve's son-in-law, and the father of Stinky, Claudette, and Runtz. And Alpha Omega too. Humphrey is the leader of the wolf pack with his mate Kate. That kind of rams. That kind of rhymes. Mates, Kate. Mate, Kate. Kate, mate. Oh, I'm getting distracted. More a little bit of background of it. So, here's the background story. Humphrey was born an Omega Wolf in the Western Pack under the leadership of Winston and his wife Eve, and is possibly an orphan. Humphrey is a slender and average gray Omega, not well built but average for an Omega. His fur has many different shades of gray in. Okay guys, the final vote. Top one. Kobe. Amorous. I'm gonna show you guys um the definition of what Amorous is and Amorous the game itself. So I kind of did a little bit more research as I, thought, as I thought so, yeah. Here's the definition of Amorous. Showing feeling or relating to sexual desire. Okay, ooh, admirance. I should have played this game a long time ago. Anyways, guys, back to the back to the video. <laughs> the main character is an unemployed high school graduate who was introduced by the character's brother to Club Amorous. Club Amorous is the main area where the player is introduced to all of the date paths within the game. Okay, guys. Let's go into Kobe's backstory. Kobe is the is the player's stepbrother. Not a sh I am not shocked. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm a avian, right? I don't know. Kobe has struck out many times as he is often dumped or manipulated. His favorite dating ground is Club Amorous, oh, of course. Anything and anything can happen in Club Amorous. Despite being the player's stepbrother, it is possible to date him, which reveals that Kobe has always had a bit of a crush on the player, but didn't want to cross any lines. So basically, guys, Kobe, our stepbrother, has a crush on us, which kind of is weird in a way. So, And here's Kobe's description and appearance. So, Kobe is a blue bird femboy. With the shades of blue varying over his design. He is seen naked in his underwear or tank top with purple stripes. Anyways guys, I'm basically that wraps up for today. And also guys, I'll set up a new post and a new poll for you guys to which vote for your favorite characters on Furry Amino. And also guys, if you are not if you are new to Furry Amino, please make sure you guys vote whenever I can because I will do this like almost like every alternating week so this is gonna be like a long time before I get back to this video so yeah and anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed the results of the votes and yeah Kobe is top five or everything so yeah that means everything is fine so yeah anyways guys I hope you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to give me a like a comment and a share this video and also guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new because i produce ev videos every wednesday <laughs>
Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that's pretty much it. My name is Whiskey Fox. I'm going to bed and I'm dying. Goodbye.